Yo! <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Rail. Before I get to the video, man, I just want y'all to know that my 600 sub giveaway is live right now. It's going to be a $10 PSN gift card, and the code is going to be placed all throughout the video. So, first come, first serve. So, that means my Rage Squad, Noti Gang, y'all the ones that should be getting it first. So, let's get into the video. As y'all can see, we got Taysom Mill slot, and this is one of the most slept on formations in the saints playbook in my opinion it's a formation that doesn't really get that much love so i'm gonna be giving it the love it deserves now one thing that you need to keep in mind in this formation that you can't have four receivers so if you want four receivers uh listen up real quick all you need to do you just need to come to bunch uh not bunch tight off set tight end and go to package hit have back one now you have four receivers in and from there you'll be able to audible straight to take some hill slot so that's how you do four receivers so if you have like the seahawks like i do i recommend doing that but i was being lazy and i'm still being lazy so i'm not doing it so i'm gonna show you how it works if you don't want to do it so i'm gonna take him a slot i'll be showing y'all saints mesh wheel show you how good the inside zone is so y'all pa read and i'm going to show y'all a uh, sale now all now so with this formation you'll be able to beat cover one cover two cover three cover four cover four drop you'll be all coverages pretty much and i'm going to show y'all that in this video so if y'all like what i'm doing man drop a sub uh turn notifications on all that man do all that and i would greatly appreciate it now without wasting any more y'all's time i'm gonna start out with pa read and for the defense we're gonna go against cover three now one of the cool things about this formation is that when you flip the play it doesn't give any tell so let's say we flip it right watch how uh only person that moved was uh our running back so let's go ahead and flip it back i just wanted to show it out real quick now let's go against this cover three uh one play touchdown so all you need to do is block the running back there's double team to end that's literally all you need to do because this wheel route by will disley is going to hold that uh cornerback out there stefan gilmore is able to throw that right over his head for an easy one play touchdown So as y'all can see, it beats cover three for one play touchdown fairly easy. Now, another thing I need to mention with this offense is that um, it's really great to have a escape artist quarterback. You can do it with the uh, pocket passer, but it won't be as effective because some of these plays you have to kind of roll out for it to get the right angle to throw it. And also, the reason I have Tyler Lockett uh, in that outside receiver spot is for a couple reasons, and this is one of those also. You see how, uh, look at his comeback route. You see how it touches at the 45? Now, watch if I uh, put a regular comeback. You see how it touches at about the 43-ish or so? They're two completely different routes, but they look the exact same. So, let me show you what happens if they're playing off coverage on cover three. Watch this. You can take it, you can throw it then, and you can possession catch it just like that. Now, let me show you what it looks like if they put a cover four quarter out there. So, as you see, we got a quarter. Now, watch how it's still going to get wide open. Just block your running back. That's all. And then you're going to wait for him to drift inside. And then you want to swerve and then come back, just like I did. So with just that route, it's either going to force them to press with their cover three, or it's going to force them to come and play cover two. Now, um, you need to be very careful running this against cover two because it still will work. They still will drop off, but the timing, you have to go and practice in order to practice for the timing. You have to. I know, I know a lot of times I say uh, do it and you might not need to, but this one you need to. Because watch, he's going to drop off right there. You're going to be able to throw that. So as you can see in the gameplay in the cover two, you can throw that, but it's a really risky pass. Like sometimes they'll get an animation or sometimes they'll pick it. So it, it, it's almost feels like a dice roll. So be very careful with that if you wanted to uh, try to abuse that. So next, I'm going to show you all man coverage. Now, another thing that I didn't mention about this formation that I really like is that you can flip the play without giving no kind of tells. Watch how I flip it. And the only thing that moves is my running back. It's the only person that moves. Now, the reason uh, this was good for man is because of two reasons so if somebody user in this safety right here because they're gonna have to with this wheel route with this wheel route by dk metcalf they're gonna have to use it at because he will actually torch uh his man most of the time pretty much all the time pretty much let me let me back this guy off i don't know what they're doing over here um 
I don't know what's wrong with Big Nickel. Sometimes they do a lot of weird stuff with their safeties. But that's not what's important right now. Now, um, let me just go and show y'all this wheel route too. Look at this wheel route to dig route combo. Watch how both of these is going to get wide open versus man. See, you can roll out. I could throw square if I wanted to. Or I could throw triangle. Considering if the user's over there. So as y'all can see in the gameplay, it does a really great job at making the user wrong, no matter who they want to guard with this play. So let me go ahead and show y'all cover for uh, quarters next. Now with cover for quarters and cover for palms, it's going to be the same exact setup and it's going to give you a one play touchdown either way. Now all you need to do is block your running back, take uh, Will Disley, put him on a drag route. Or you can put him on an end. I personally like the drag. It makes the flow of the play look better. So and make sure you double team this in. Now you just want to take David Moore out here and you want to motion him and then snap him about right there. So you want to wait, wait, and then you want to roll out the pocket. Look how much uh, separation you get on that play. And that's going to be an easy one play touchdown. Again, that was against cover for quarters. Now, let me show you against cover for palms. So you see we got cover for palms. Now it's going to match the exact same pretty much with this uh, same setup. Oh, hold on, messed up. All right. So remember, you just block your running back, take Will Disley, put him on a drag route. And then you want to double team this in, motion David Moore over. And you're gonna snap it about right there. Now you're gonna wait and watch how both of those uh, players get sucked down on David Moore. And you're able to throw that right over the top of the head for an easy one play touchdown. So with just this play alone, you could be man, you could be cover three, you could be cover four quarters, and you could be cover four palms with just this one play. Now, let me show y'all real quick this inside zone. Uh, since this is practice mode, I might not get the best blocks, but this inside zone is really money, especially if you start incorporating the motions that I'm gonna tell y'all in uh, these next plays that I go over, it's gonna be really great. So let's just go ahead and run it so you can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, right there, like I said, the safety shot, but I promise you get great yards out of this play. So the next play that I want to get into is going to be the Saints Mesh Wheel. Now, before I get into this play, uh, I forgot to mention my uh, audible. So this is my autos right here. I like Saints Mesh Wheel, Inside Zone, Sale, and PA Read. So with Saints Mesh Wheel, I really love this against Cover 2 or Cover 3. Now on defense, I'm going to be going against the Cover 2. So with the Cover 2, if they're not putting a, a middle third with their linebackers, this play is really money for you. So you just want to, um, you just want to put Will Disley on the hitch route. Rewheel your running back. You take your uh, circle, David Moore, put him on a flat route and motion him over. Now, with your reads on this play, you want to read triangle to X. Well, let me rephrase that. You want to look at X. So if they're blitzing heavy, you could dump it to X. Now, if they're not blitzing heavy, then this wheel route by the running back is going to take way too long to develop, but it's just a decoy route. But it can get open if they're sending heat. So your real reads on this play is going to be X quick triangle which your user should be on triangle all the way and then that's going to leave square over the top so let me just see if i can show y'all that uh, i like the double team this way so let me just see girl hopefully get some good blocking let's see you see how we can throw that right there now i know it's pretty confusing for uh, some of y'all so let me just go ahead and show y'all in the replay so like i said with this hitch if it's open throw it because they might be blitzing this person so that's why i said you want to kind of look there first because your user is going to be somewhere on this side because you got all these routes going on this side so your user is going to be somewhere over there so you, they probably won't be jumping this hitch 
now the reason i said this is a bait route is because if the user comes right here um you see how this just got open because the midri is going to pass that off to nobody because the cornerbacks get sucked down by this hit so that's going to be an easy dot so most of the time when the uh, users see this dish they're going to be on this guy now that's perfect for us why because look at uh look at tyler locker's route look how the safety you see the safety out here this is almost this will happen almost every cover too for whatever reason um i think it's maybe his route it drives the safety to the sideline especially when you roll out uh, this opposite way right here so you see how i took a couple steps this way and the safety went to the sideline look how much oh, look how open that is that is an easy throw all i have to do is throw it anywhere in this area and that's a touchdown right there and then another thing i'm gonna show y'all is this wheel route will also get wide open by itself so i know that was a long explanation but it was well needed so let's go ahead and set it back up remember you will route your running back take will this put him on a hitch and you want to take david more motion him over and put him on a flat route when you motion him and i'm gonna go ahead and double team this uh in right here now i'm gonna show y'all this wheel route hopefully we get some good blocking so look at this wheel route you see how it just gets wide open right there So as y'all can see, it gets wide open versus cover three as well. So that's why I really love this play. It gets wide open in cover two and cover three. And then this uh, dig route by DK Metcalf, he put a hitch. That hitch dig combo is going to pull down any outside zone. So my second setup that I like for this play, I like it to be on the wide side. So I would just flip my play in this instance. And then I would honestly just block my running back. And then I would take uh, Tyler Lockett. I put him on a comeback. And you can do whatever you want with DK Metcalf. You can put him on a slant or you can leave him on his drag. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you. But you're just going to take Will Disley. You're going to motion snap him. And watch what's going to happen here. Um, the cornerback's going to be occupied by the... Um, the cornerback's going to be occupied by the comeback allowing you to throw Will Disley open. Now, my last setup that I really love against cover two... It's going to be a beater, actually. So all you need to do, you need to flip the play. Actually, in my instance, I need to flip it because you want this post. You're going to motion this post route over. So you want to take DK Metcalf. You want to put him on a street. And my running back, oh, uh, I like I like to block him typically since I'm not even looking on his right side. And then you can leave Will Disley's route. And you just take uh, David Moore and motion him over. So it should look like this. Now, watch what's going to happen right here. So you can, you can stay in the pocket and throw this if you want. But watch circle. You see how he gets just wide open? Oh, I got a bad pass angle, but it was still wide open. Now, the last thing I want to show y'all out of this play is how to bomb cover four drop show two or any cover four drop coverage. What you need to do, you just take DK Metcalf, you put him on a streak. Well, first, let me baseline because nobody runs, nobody runs their defense like this. So, you just take DK Metcalf, put him on a streak, and then you want to take uh, Circle, David Moore, put him on a drag route. Now, you can do, actually, you can do whatever you want. You could you could do this combo where you put him on the, uh, David Moore on the in route, smart route the in route, and put uh, Will Disley on the hits, or you can drag him. It doesn't matter what you do on the right side. You just can't put him on, like, a streak or a comeback. So, if, if you wanted to put him on a slant and, like, an out or something, you can do that. You know, it's, it's up to you. But my preferred setup would be... Hitch Will Disley, put him on the in route, smart route that in route, or my preferred setup would be just double drags like this. So it, it, it just depends on uh, what they're doing. So for the video's sake, I'm just going to leave it like this. Now, take your running back, block him, and you want to double team this end over here. Now let's go ahead and snap the ball, and I like to step up to make that uh, double team work better. So and then we, as you can see, the uh, safety's going to drop down right there. Uh, I got a bad pass lead, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all that again. Now that I'm done explaining this play, I want y'all to watch. Uh, I want y'all to watch those two safeties on that right side right here. Watch how they just get sucked down. So as you can see, we got the play right here. Watch, watch how they just get sucked down because nobody's gonna occupy their zone. You see how they sit, and then you'll be able to throw that literally right over their head for a one play touchdown. All right, the next play that I'm going over is this sell play, and we're just going against the cover three right now. So with this sell play, uh, there's a few setups, but I'm gonna show y'all. Uh, I'm going to show you this one first. So, all you need to do is take Tyler Lockett and just literally put him on the street. And with your running back, you can block him or don't, or not block him. It, it doesn't matter. So, we're just going to double team right here. And watch what's happening. Just get outside the pocket. And he's going to pull down. And you're going to throw that real easy. So, 
So for my second setup that I like, I like to take Will Disley. I put him on a streak and I take David Moore out here on the right and I put him on a drag. And then I'll take DK Metcalf and I'll motion him over. Now, what's really great about this play is that I'm gonna have either square or triangle every single time, no matter what the coverage is. So you can see I got a uh, square right there on that side. Now, I'm not gonna show this play a second time because this play is universal versus every single coverage. It'll dot up every single coverage. So, what'll happen is, Will Disley's gonna clear out. Now, if they're blitzing or something or doing something funny and this is literally wide open, which I'm gonna show you an example that this is wide open when, uh, when I ran it one time, throw this, just throw that. Now, look at how the uh, cornerback, for some reason, uh, this running back route, it gets in the way of the cornerback. Like, he feels like he has to play that, so he pulls off of that. If you do not have this route out here, he's going to stick on this man in cover three. So keep that in mind. Now, you can see uh, the linebacker is going to be worried about this running back, which allows this to be wide open. And if the user's on this side, okay, that's fine. Look at this side over here. Watch how, uh, watch how the cornerback or the purple defender is gonna leave him. As soon as he leaves him, that's an easy throw. And the user's gonna be somewhere over here. So you'll be able to throw this if as soon as after break. See, I could throw this right now if I want to, easy. And look where the user is. He's gonna be somewhere over here, he has to be. So like I said, this is a very dangerous play. All right, and the last setup that I have for y'all today, uh, it's gonna be simple. All you need to do is just block your running back, uh, take Will Disley, motion him over. Now, what's gonna happen here is that uh, square is gonna get open technically, and if you wanted to roll out and throw triangle, that'll get open as well. So let me just go ahead and uh, show y'all. See, I can throw X right now, or I can wait, and I can throw square right there in that little gap. All right, y'all, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. And turn them notification bells on. Sub if you're new and you enjoy what I'm doing. If you want me to go over any other schemes, drop it in the comments and I will look into it. Or not any scheme, or if you want me to go into playbooks. If you want me to take a look into any playbooks, just let me know, man, because I, I have fun doing this. I have fun diving into formations that a lot of people aren't using and turn them into something that's really usable and should be meta that's what i get joy out of so with all that being said man y'all have a blessed day man i'm rage rail and i'm out